All right, did you guys kind of see what happened there? What I did was I stance canceled my back turn stance and then went into a 5k, into 6k, into 236s combo. So what exactly is happening here is that when we cancel our overhead on block, we actually end up being plus. And in this situation, it actually beats out one of Kai's fastest moves, which is his 5p. We actually counter hit him and we get a combo off of it. Now, you might be wondering why why would you ever want to do this? And it's a very simple answer, and you saw it right there. The overhead is unsafe on block. Your opponent can punish you. But of course, it is dependent on range. So, you know, if you're at max range, they can't punish you. You also have other options to make it a little bit safer. Not completely safe, but, you know, you can scout out some options. Right? If they mash the jab button, you can throw out your projectile, if you're actually good. <laughs> there we go. And you get a counter hit there, although you don't really get much off of that. You can, you can special cancel into whatever you want, but again, that special that I just used is also not safe. And you can also try to reset your back turn, but... You know, again, that move is also reactable and you can get grabbed. You also have the option to throw out your shield. Your opponent is kind of left far away, so it's kind of hard to get a nice follow-up after that. But if instead you cancel, it allows you to block right away. And if you do it perfectly, you are plus, and you can use those plus frames to press your advantage. So this technique is a really good way to mix up your pressure since some of your follow-ups aren't always the safest. This is basically another tool in your toolbox to add. The name of this game is mixing up your pressure, so getting good at this is definitely something you want to learn. And putting a new tool into your toolbox is always going to keep the opponent guessing. Of course, you don't have to go for the 5k like I did. You can go for something like... US? And you can get a counter hit there, a much stronger counter hit, and go for a better combo. Your 2S is also slightly disjointed, so it's kind of good there too as well. If you are getting away with your overhead on block and you're not getting punished, that means you are just very lucky that your opponent doesn't know the matchup. So start using this technique and uh, start taking those matches. Start winning more matches. Level up your Leo and... Uh, Hope this helped you out. So until next time, I will see you guys later.